So, last week, you see how the amount of stuff that we got done on the car. Right now, it's just a little bit of quick time lapse of what a stuff that we had to go through off camera because I ended up removing all those wires and then put a shielding over it to make sure all those wires are good and just make sure to do it correctly because since I spliced every wire with it correct um, color. So on the driver's side, we basically put some of the, the wires on for the camera. So that's good. Those wires right there are not currently spliced in properly, but I will get down to that. And that's the airbag sensor right there. That's the sensor for the nozzle horn. So we all have all of this stuff that we've done in the last episode, right? So this episode, we're just gonna hop into some more stuff and to make sure that we get it done. So let's go. We rebuilt. Hey, today, what we're gonna try to do is start this thing. All the wires is done. As you can see, it's a whole bunch. Uh, no, some of the things I have not plugged in every single sensor yet, but I'll just get to that in a minute. But what I wanna talk about is this thing. I really don't know what is it exactly, but there's a part number on it. Um, what I'm gonna do is see if I could get one ordered, but it's broken and I need it to go right here to attach to it so it could go back onto the car. So since I mean it's hollow, we're gonna try to see if I could use this other line, this other extra line and see if I could just plug it on and then see if we could get this engine to turn over. And now we don't have gas spraying almost everywhere. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, grab your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Check us out on our social media link. Hey, don't forget to grab yourself some merch on WeRebuilds.com. Okay, hey, let's talk in. Let's hop straight into this video. So yeah, this is the piece that I'm saying because this was right here. So it came off of, um, this is broken. This is broken. So what I'm gonna do is just basically use this hose, put this hose on right here and plug it over there and then see if we could get it at least started today and see what's going on. But yeah, this is all the wires that has been done. I did some too over here. The only thing that I'm worried about is this camera wire, but hey, we're, we're just gonna keep moving. Let's go. What we're gonna try to do right now we're gonna try to see if we could install a drive shaft. We have some of the stuff done up top. So we're just gonna try to do that right now. So next we're gonna put some oil in the transmission right there. <laughs> so we're gonna loosen that, that bolt right there. And then that should be it. We're gonna use a 3 8 and then see if So we're gonna put some oil in the transmission because remember, there's no oil in this transmission. Because from the last time when the pan broke, we didn't put no oil in it. All right, so I got everything set up now. As you can see, the hose is in the hole right there. And then now we're about to put it in this bottle and then just get it ready and start pumping it up. So now all we gotta do is Fill up this transmission. And I wanna say that should be it. And we try to see if it will turn over. I think I probably have it on the wrong side because this is blowing water. All right, so I got to switch it around real quick. So now we're in the money. It's a transmission fluid. About to go inside of the transmission. Okay, so we're gonna see if it does its first start. We just turn to put the battery on. So let's see if it's gonna start for the first time. Doesn't 
my hands didn't come right up. <laughs> Jules. Jack Ali. Jack Ali. So as you could see on this part of the video where uh, it looks like it was a whole bunch of guests that started to come out from that hose that I put on. So it was a whole bunch of gas spraying out so we had to be rushing and make sure we turn off the jumper boxes and all of that so we didn't cause any unnecessary sparks and end up causing a fire, you know. So what we end up doing is uh, turning off the jump box, checking everything again and then see what's gonna happen. Now it's a few days, it's Monday. The last time we did some recording was Saturday. So uh, I already called Audi, Audi to get some of the, those parts that I need ordered because those lines over here. So th that's done order. Those are ordered so I should be able to get them tomorrow before I leave. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do to the, today is um, I'm gonna try to get all the mechanical stuff done today because we need to get all that stuff done and have all that stuff situa situated. What I probably do today is also put the headliner in because I haven't put that headliner in. So I'll probably start cleaning out the interior with all these extra parts. And I still have a whole bunch of parts over here that came off the car. So we're gonna see how much of that we can get done today. Put the drive shaft in, because that's left. We did put some oil in the transmission Saturday. So anyways, let's keep this video going. Let's go. As for right here, it took me a while to get this drive shaft in because it was only me. So I was trying a whole bunch of different things until it finally worked. But yeah, the drive shaft, it did took a while because I was the only one trying to put it up by myself. I mean, it didn't, it took maybe, I want to say an hour or so, but we got that done. Once that piece is done, we're just hopping straight into the next thing. So we're almost done with the wiring. As you can see, we start wrapping back most of the wires. So there's a couple things you need to finish over here. Most of these wires are already wrapped. The next thing we got done is the drive shaft. And that's gonna be a wrap for today's episode on We Rebuilds. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Don't forget to grab yourself some, some merch from WeRebuilds.com. Hey, and make sure you share and subscribe. Hey, stay positive, stay motivated.